I have four rackets. That's it, just four. If I was a kid, I would want like a hundred rackets. I would want all the new cool like Lee Chong Wei and Victor Axelson rackets. But I'm an adult and first I work at a uh, government run public university in China. So I'm not rolling in the dough. <laughs> and second, like you can only use one racket at a time to play with. So I appreciate, I appreciate not having a lot of rackets. All my rackets are strung by the same guy at my court. Um, they're all 27 pounds with uh, leaning number one strings. So, um, you know, I think when I compare them, they're a pretty good comparison. I also don't know anything about rackets. I only know what I like. I'm not at all an expert. I do not have any sort of stat or like requirements that I like in a racket. The truth is I have never bought a racket by myself. Um, all these rackets have been given to me as gifts and they each have a cute story. So that's what I'm going to tell you today. First up, let's do the romantic story, shall we? This one is a uh, Yonix in China. We say YY is the name. It's a Nanoray Glands. This racket is the romantic racket. Um, you know, my boyfriend Aja and I, we met because of badminton. Before we were together, um, I was having some really bad uh, tennis elbow. And this is a pretty light racket. Um, I tend to prefer heavy rackets, but this one's quite light. So I was having some elbow problems. And when we would play badminton, I would borrow this racket and then I'd give it back. We had our first date on uh, Christmas Day. <laughs> Um, a year and a half ago, and we played badminton. And at the end of badminton, you know, I borrowed this racket. And at the end of the day, I went to give it back to him. And he was all like, mm, no, just keep it. Whatever, just keep it. And I was like, what? No, like, this is a nice racket. You take it. <laughs> and he was like, no, 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 it's okay. Just keep it. Just keep it. <laughs> just being all like, shy and cute and nervous about like a first date. <laughs> and now, ironically, um, he wants to use this racket a lot. And I'm always like, no, that's my racket. <laughs> you can't use it. <laughs> so I'm super mean. But what can I say? It's not my favorite, but this racket is quite light. So anytime I kind of have a little elbow pain, if I play, if I'm playing too much or, you know, I've been using a really heavy racket, this one is kind of like my rehab racket. I always use it to like rehab myself. Okay, next up, how about um, this one? This one my coach gave me. This one is called an Excalibur Knight. X, like Excalibur. I don't know where this company is from or where it's made. Um, I actually love this racket. Uh, my coach, it was just, we were training one day and he just kind of came out of his office and he said, uh, here, give this a try. And he's the owner of a court, so he gets a lot of rackets to try. And I tried it out and I, he said, do you like it? And I said, yeah, you know, it's fine. And he said, uh, okay, it's yours. <laughs> For a really long time, and in general, this one's my favorite. Part of it appeals to the nerd in me, that it's like an Excalibur knight, like a sword. And I think that's awesome. <laughs> it's also, it's not too heavy, it's not too light. But I really like this one, except these days I don't use it because I don't like the grip. It feels a, a bit uh, hard, it feels too hard. And obviously it's quite dirty. <laughs> I don't really care or notice grips and I don't care or notice when they get dirty. But I guess other people do because people have come up to me and like I had a friend, uh, he like after I was in another club and after gameplay, he just came up to me with a new grip. and He was like, can you change your grip? <laughs> I guess mine was a little dirty. Just changed the grip, Becky. I know, obviously, that's the answer to that. But again, I have four rackets and I can only use one in a night. So I don't need to use this one. So I haven't really like been missing this one too much. So I haven't used it recently. Ultimately, I think it's my favorite to use. But these days, I haven't really used it because of the grip. <laughs> okay, next up, let's do this one. This one's my Adidas racket. Whoop. Can you see that? This one I wrote about on my blog, maybe you know. This one is a Wacht P8. Um, Adidas has recently been coming out with a new line of rackets. They're a little hard to find because they're not under the main like Adidas brand. They're kind of like a niche side thing. I don't understand there's a business structure or there's some outside company. I don't understand it. But I met Matt. He's like the CEO of the uh, Adidas department or something. And he was really nice. I met him in Hong Kong. I tried out like all the Adidas rackets 
And this one was my favorite because I really like heavy rackets and this is a super heavy racket. I am a doubles player and I am a woman in mixed doubles, so I don't super need a lot of power, but it feels really good. And I feel like this is like my secret weapon. And it just feels like, you know, like I up my power level, like I'm a video game character and it's just like do 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 when I pick up this racket. This is my favorite racket. But because it's so heavy and because I have a weak elbow, I use this too much. Um, my elbow starts to hurt. So I have to be careful. Like I can't, I can't use it like two consecutive days. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over my cold. Um, super like it. And last but not least, okay, emotionally, this is my favorite racket. Can you see? Star Wars. It's my Star Wars racket. I got the uh, Victor Star Wars limited edition Darth Vader, OG Darth Vader, like episode four Darth Vader. Or I'm a huge nerd. I'm like a writer and like a nerd person. I'm not a sports person. Um, the fact that there is Star Wars, like OG Darth Vader Star Wars. If it was like, I don't know, Kylo Ren, I wouldn't be too into it, but it's Darth Vader and it has really cool little um, features. Like it says, come to the dark side and there's like little things inside that's like Darth it spells out Darth there's a little Darth Vader decal at the bottom so emotionally this is my all-time favorite racket <laughs> oh by the way it comes with a bag this is my bag that I use all the time you can see it's got a little Darth Vader and it has a little Star Wars it's a very classy bag it's not overly overly endorsed it has this awesome on the back. So I love this bag. It's a cute story. Again, how I got it. I saw the ads were coming out for it. And of course I had to have it. And I was really nervous because um, it's made in Taiwan and it was available in Asia, but not mainland China. So I called the place in Hong Kong and I asked them to ship it. And they said they can't because Hong Kong and mainland China have um, different taxes and different import exports. The taxes to have them to ship it to me in China would be so expensive, it would be not worth it, and they're not willing to ship it. Uh, Taiwan store, uh, they said the same thing. So I was freaking out, like how was I gonna get this limited edition, totally works for me, limited edition, I'm like, I have to have it. I was gonna take a trip to Hong Kong just to pick it up, um, but you know, my boyfriend is Taiwanese, so he was going back to Taiwan, and he was going back like a week after this was released. So I freaked out and I was like, oh my God, you got to get the racket. You got to get it for me. And he was like, sure, sure, sure. No problem. But I can't just say like, can you get the racket for me and be done with it? I have to like be guaranteed that I'm getting it. So I kept bothering him and I kept texting him um, the week before this came out. I was like, can you call a place? Can you make sure that they're going to have it? There's only 1,500. So I was sure that they would sell out in like a second. Of course they didn't. <laughs> like I overestimate uh, how many badminton fans are also Star Wars fans. But I was freaking out and I just wanted like a sure thing. I just kept bothering him and I said, can you please call a store? Can you please reserve one? Can you make sure it's in your hometown? Blah, 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 blah. He was like, mm-hmm, yep, okay, mm-hmm, yep. And finally he was like, oh, fine, okay. I already got it, okay? I bought it for you. <laughs> Like, he was, he was trying to be nice and, like, have a cute surprise. I was too freaked out, so um, he had to confess <laughs> that he had gotten it for me. So it's very sweet. This one is also a gift from him and the bag. The only problem is um, I really don't like this racket. This racket is so light. I feel like all my reactions are just, like, so much faster but not in a good way. Um, faster, like my hand moves too quickly. It just adds no power to any of my shots and everything just feels super weak coming off this racket. Just, I do like that it exists. So thank you. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> thank you for uh, making a Star Wars racket. And if you make, you know, Goonies or Toy Story or Lord of the Rings, oh my God, Lord of the Rings, that would be the best racket idea ever. This could be like the ring and it could like, on the it's off. Anyway. Love the idea of this racket, hate the actual racket. So now you can see that all my rackets are very special to me. They all have a good story. Oh, they really do, you know? Like, I do think about 
where who gave me my rackets, how I got them, and it does just, you know, make me feel happy. Do you have uh, any special rackets? Do you have like special feelings and memories when you play with your rackets? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear like racket stories, sweet racket stories if you have any. See you next time. Bye.